Welcome back guys to Knox Crossover and we're going to go straight up to NBA Finals topics. We're going to start off with the Cavs. Mm-hmm. What, is, what are your thoughts, insights about the Cavs right now based on the last three games that we've seen mm-hmm. so far? Xander, we'll give you the floor first. So is it the Cavs or is it the LeBrons? I'm a little confused. <laughs> um, like honestly, the way the team is just playing right now is horrible. I mean, they've been this way most of the season, and we kind of all knew this, but just like the way LeBron has to carry this team throughout the whole finals, and it's part of the reason why they can't win a game is that you can't play one on five, or some people like to think one on eight, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> uh, at least they used Rodney Hood last game, so he was able to contribute. <laughs> Kevin Love has been consistent this whole finals. He's averaging 20 and 10 for the Momos, so maybe 18, 19, and 10. Mm-hmm. But just they don't seem to have any fight to them. Besides LeBron, I don't know if they have what it takes to really beat this team right now. I don't think they believe themselves. Maybe I'm reading too much into just the body language and stuff, but I just don't see that killer attitude, that championship swagger that they should have. Most of these guys are still from that championship team, Mm -hmm. or at least the starters. You know, they still got JR, they still got Kevin Love. You know, they should have more confidence in themselves. I mean, maybe not Tristan, but they still have more confidence in themselves than Mm -hmm. what they're showing right now. And I think they're bowing down really to the more talented team Right now, in the Warriors. So I think right now it's probably going to be a sweep. Yeah, I, I, I believe so too. And it's going to suck that in the NBA Finals, I'm going to witness uh, a sweep in the Finals. Uh, and you spoke of it. I think they are struggling now and they're going down to having lack of confidence within the team. Down, being now down 0 3 again in the same series as last year, having Kevin Durant shoot the same shot in the last game three. I mean, it's all happening again uh, without Kyrie, um, but it's unfortunate that all these the players weren't stepping up. I, I at least thought it would they would at least steal at least one game, and they should have done that in game one. <laughs> but they weren't able to. Uh, some confusion here and there, and then you, you spoke about how you know lack of confidence and looking at this Golden State Warriors team, they, and they're looking at them like maybe they are the the better team right now. You could see, and you could hear with all these, not just post-game, pre-game press conference, but like in between practices and LeBron talking about, hey man, these, these, these guys are really good. That's why, you know, maybe Kevin Durant wanted to come to the Golden State Warriors, build a super team, you know, become the best team in the world right now and conquer and get another ring for two straight years now. The funny thing actually, I, um, I don't know if you noticed this, this reminded me of actually the series with uh, the Raptors and the, the Cavs, whereas, uh, where the Cavs stole that game on, uh, they should have, the Raps should have won that game. Mm-hmm. The Cavs should have won that first game if it wasn't for some question, like, you know, some questionable calls questionable and J.R. Layups. Smith uh, making that uh, kind of play. Mm. Uh, they should have won that game. So that was kind of a deflating uh, situation what happened with that. And then the second game, uh, the Cavs just look, you know, I mean, the, the Warriors played exactly how they wanted to play. So the same thing would happen with the Cavs and the, uh, and, and the Raptors. The first game, Raptors should have won and just Cavs stole that game. The second game, uh, game two, Cavs just played their game. And, and the third game, when, Le- when KD hit that shot, <laughs> LeBron hit that crazy that shot. To kind of uh, you know, yeah. to kind of yeah. end the game. So I felt like this is kind of going in the same, um, in the same, the same direction as uh, the the Cavs and the Raptors uh, series. So the Cavs are gonna lose by forty in game four. In the, <laughs> but I'm, I'm saying <laughs> they that could. They could. <laughs> I feel like there's a mental hurdle now. Not just well, the Raps had LeBron as a mental hurdle for the team, whereas the uh, the whole Warriors team is a mental hurdle yeah, for, for sure. the whole Cavs team except LeBron, yeah. right? And I feel like LeBron is just playing his game, but I feel like the whole Warriors just has this mental hurdle on the rest of the Cavs players, not just you know, not just J.R. Smith, but mm. George Hill. Larry Nance, Tristan Thompson. Maybe LeBron does have a hurdle. Maybe his hurdle is actually Kevin Durant. <laughs> it, 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 He's not afraid of the Warriors. Where's Kevin Durant got there? No, it's, um, he, has a, he has his numbers. He's, he could be the next NBA Finals MVP once again, but he'll probably need more points. Um, yeah. and, and Do you think, do you think if they do get... Uh, we all know they're going to lose the finals. If they do get sweep, whatever <laughs> I mean, happens. Anything is possible. What, what is LeBron? What are you guys, if I put you guys in LeBron's mind, what are you thinking? What's next for you? What are you looking into? You go first. I think, yeah, especially for LeBron, I think it's all, LeBron basically is controlling this whole situation because LeBron looks at it is that 
he's going to have another day. He's, he, he's going to see another day when, if they do lose against the Warriors. Uh, his other teammates, they're going to be concerned. What's their future? Will they even stay on the Cleveland Cavaliers team? They're just looking at, waiting for LeBron on his next move. What I believe in is that he should stay. It just, I think it'll just hurt his legacy, in my opinion, just to move again and leave Cleveland again, just to chase for another ring. Um, I mean, I mean, he will, he, if he wants to, go ahead. I, I wouldn't be surprised either if he wants to chase that ring, chase Jordan and ring count. Um, try to try to build a su another super team, whether it be maybe even joining with the Golden State Warriors or even staying in the East with oh, the wow. Philly 76ers <laughs> or maybe joining the Toronto Raptors. So, hey. um, I, I, yeah, if if he does stay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be happy. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be fine. I mean, a, another another hurdle for like our Toronto team to face a LeBron James team with Cleveland Cavaliers, but it is gonna hurt again that you know you guys are gonna lose to the Golden State Warriors again two straight years, even this year get swept, possibly get swept in the finals. Mm. Kind of to build on, build on what you were saying is that, like, you know, LeBron is really stuck between a rock and a hard place right now because I'm sure even he knows he's very, like, media savvy, right? So he would know that it doesn't make sense for him to not only leave Cleveland again, but maybe go to the third team. That's just very much going to dilute his legacy, right? All the media already talk enough bad about him. Mm -hmm. You know, this is just going to add more fuel to the fire. So... You know, he's stuck between that part and also trying to chase that legacy that Jordan has. You know, now with probably going to lose this finals, he'll be three and six in the finals. So that's mm -hmm. one thing that people always hold against LeBron over Jordan. It makes, does it make sense for him to stay at a team that it will be basically the same as next season because they can't sign anybody? No, but it's also like why dilute your legacy more, which he may not care about, but I think he does. And, you know, it makes more sense for him to win more in Cleveland, his home state of Ohio, than anywhere else. I mean, why go to Boston when he's always gone against Boston? Yeah. Why go against Toronto when he makes them look like his babies in the playoffs? Indiana's young. That would be interesting, but I doubt yeah. he'd go there. <laughs> it doesn't make sense for him to necessarily go anywhere else right now, but if he did go, it would be for a title, and then I don't know where that'd be. Maybe Boston, mm -hmm. just because they have the best young team right now, I think, in the East. If he stays in the East, which, you know, people are saying he wants to go to the Rockets next year. LA think they're gonna get him too, but LA thinks they're gonna get everybody. So, <laughs> I mean, Billy has the money. It is gonna hurt. Like either way, either choice, he stays in Cleveland or he leaves Cleveland. Cleveland's gonna all affect his legacy. He's still gonna get criticized either way, whether it be mm -hmm. why didn't you move this way and then go get go chase some rings, or, or why did you stay and not and stay with a losing team. I mean, it's just it's, it's gonna be hard for him to. Well, let's be honest here. It'll never be a losing team. If LeBron's there, it won't be a losing oh, yeah, team. Of course, just the finals. That's all. Yeah, but it's it's well, the finals. The <laughs> thing is, we won't. Uh, I think. I think the legacy-wise, uh, right now, you could still, if you're more educated enough, you you would you would remember this time that that LeBron literally carried his team throughout the playoffs, right? So they're gonna look at this like that is one of his legacy uh, main points, and he did it. He did, he did his best until he hit a hurdle, and that's the Golden State Warriors. So it's it's it's. It's what, you know. So what where do you want him to go if he did leave? Not where do you think. Not where do you think he'd go. Where, where do you... he should go? Yeah. Damn. He should go to Spurs. <laughs> I <laughs> think it's a good idea. Go to I, I think go, if, Kawhi, go. if they sign Kawhi, uh, if they agree, they just kind of fix whatever relationship that were broken between uh, the Spurs organization, yeah. Pop and Kawhi, mm. and LeBron goes there, I think he could win one or two championships. Depending on how long he, he prolongs his career. I don't think he goes to San Antonio. He's never had a great coach in his whole career. He, always, yeah. he yeah. was always the smarter coach. But he's also never had a good point guard. Because uh, he, he, he is the point guard. If you think about it, he is the point forward. So the only time so, he really won titles is when he was able to play more off ball. In Miami, when Wade was there, who could take the ball, but not he point was, guard. But he was the point forward. He was Remember, the point Chalmers forward. was the point guard, too. Chalmers was the point guard. He always position. wins when he has just a, a decent guard that can deep, play defense and shoot. No, he needs a guard that can take the ball up, take the ball up as well. Wade could take the ball up in that situation. But that was more. Well, it's, of not, like, it's not. It's not just that. It's just Dwayne like was passing the ball, scorer. finding was, someone else as well. Yeah. LeBron is kind of the point forward. Yeah, but I understand what you mean. Like there are other point guards on on yeah. on the team. Like teams. a playmaker, which is like playmaker is a good word for it. A playmaker could be yeah, which they do have if they kept like Gasol and kind of players that. Surround. Gasol's not a playmaker anymore. It's it's still like I still <laughs> he's he's in a better situation if he does go on uh, the Spurs. I'm not saying I don't like San Antonio, but I don't think that makes sense. But I think he does another playmaker on a team that he would go to and hopefully a good coach mm -hmm. so i understand where you come from san antonio but i think even like 
as much as I don't like the team, I think even a Washington team could be good, except if they got rid of Scott Brooks. Because what are you what, saying? Washington's a trash team. I mean, they are a trash team, but look. <laughs> they're not they, going anywhere. <laughs> no, they're not. But they get LeBron, they could. Because they at least have a solid center in Gortat. Washington is a dark horse. Nobody's going to want to play for... They have one of the came, best Durant point guards. Durant came from... They have what? one of the best point guards in the East in John Wall. Even Durant didn't want to play for them. <laughs> and there's yeah. something with the Washington Durant went for the sure thing because yeah. he's lazy. No, it's <laughs> LeBron because was so there's carry something team. about the culture of that city. You know, even Gortat doesn't even like his point guard. <laughs> yeah, but Gortat doesn't like anybody. Yeah.